Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Back with another video. And today's video is gonna be on my Glock 19 Gen 3 and the uh, the upgrades that I've uh, done to it so far. But before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also after the video, uh, feel free to browse the channel and check out some of uh, my other reviews, unboxings and uh, upgrade vids. All right, so in my opinion, um, I think these upgrades are probably probably some of the most cost efficient upgrades that you can uh, you can do to a to a Glock 19. Um, so just getting started, um, we're gonna look at the bottom of the grip here. This is um, this is a Magpul Magwell, and for some of y'all that may not know what it is, this is um, it's basically to assist in uh, mag reloads. It makes it a lot easier uh, when training or, you know, going to the shooting range, shooting range or whatever, and you need to reload. It makes it a lot more uh, effortless to do. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to work this behind the camera. <laughs> but, yeah, it just it pretty much guides the, uh, the mag into the mag well with this ramp here. And it also... It also uh, adds a, you know, more of an enhanced grip as well. You see how it um, kind of cuffs the uh, pinky and, and, and tightens up the grip. So I like that also about the uh, the Magwell. And it also um, covers up the, the magazine a little bit. Um, yeah, I really don't like how it protrudes when it's stock, how the magazine sticks out. I like that it covers it up a little bit. So that's that's a plus also for me. And what did I pay? I paid about I think I paid about thirty bucks for it. I bought it from eBay, and yeah, with tax and everything, came out to be about thirty bucks. All right, so second upgrade is going to be on the grips. I ordered these grips from a company called Handle It Grips um, directly from their website. And, but I, I believe they do um, sell these on Amazon and maybe eBay and some of the, some other you know big websites. But I just went directly to their website and bought it, and it came out to about twenty three bucks after taxes. And this is the sandpaper grip. I went with this instead of the rubber grips because I actually like the aggressive grip. I love it. You know, I own a uh, MP two point compact, and it's not as aggressive. The 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 MMP is not as aggressive, but I do like that that texture on the grip, opposed to the uh, to the rubber grips. Most people would resort to the rubber grips because if you carry this uh, sandpaper, it can be a little annoying or it can irritate the skin if it's um, brushing up against you know bare skin while you're carrying. But I don't have that problem because I always have a shirt uh, in front of it like a tank top or something like that. So it doesn't bother me. And my third upgrade is gonna be on the uh, mag release. And the mag release is by a company called Gentra Tack Lock. Um, I'm gonna leave the, the information in my description, but I believe it's Gentra Tack Lock. Uh, I'm not sure if I cleared this, but as you can see, there's nothing in firearm. It's empty. Not sure if I did that already. But yeah, so I like the I like the extended mag release. You see how it sticks out a little bit, opposed to the uh to the OEM flushed mag release. This helps a lot. I hated the, the flush mag mag release. I hated it. So this is perfect. It's not in a way it's just how much you need, you know, to get the job done. So, pretty satisfied with it. And let's see, the fourth upgrade is going to be on the uh, the slide lock, the extended slide lock, slide lock. So as you can see, it's um, it doesn't have like that angle. It's kind of like just straight up and down. And just gonna give you an example. Pretty easy to break down. And I'm doing this behind the camera, so. 
but you can break it down easy with no problem. Now with the, with the uh, OEM um, slide lock, man, I used to would tear my fingers up. It would give me a really, really hard time, but very satisfied, no complaints. Not sure if I mentioned, but uh, the extended slide lock is by Vickers Tactical. I only spent 20 bucks for it. And I did get this from uh, eBay also. So there you go. And my fifth upgrade is gonna be on my sights. These are True Glow Tritium Night Sights. I only spent 60 bucks after taxes for these. And I did get it from, I did get these from eBay also. I've been getting everything from eBay eBay has been definitely coming through for me. But pretty satisfied with my sites as well. I did put them on myself. Um, I didn't want to do a video on the installation because my first time putting sights on a firearm. And I did have a little bit of a hard time because I used, um, I just used some stuff around the house. I got a, a table vise and a, and a flathead and kind of just dinged the sights off. The, the front sights are pretty easy to remove, but it's just the rear sights that of course, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem with because uh, of how you know how hard they are to set into the to the firearm. So you gotta kind of ding them out of there. But um, yeah, so I got them on and they're they're lined up pretty good. And these are night sights, so they glow. And yeah, happy with that as well. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all the upgrades that I've done so far. And um, anyone out there that's watching that that is trying to, to to get an idea of you know of what upgrades you may want to uh do to your glock 19 or 17 or whatever model you, you may have this would would be a good idea or you know a good direction to go as far as cost efficiency and effectiveness because honestly i feel like all of these upgrades they they work together perfectly i mean i feel like i don't have to do anything else to it to be honest because this is this is a uh, one of my carry weapons along with my uh p365 and that's all i need i need some good grip uh mag release a good um slide lock some good sights mag well got the perfect gun now you know in my opinion you know it's perfect you know i don't can't really think of anything else I need to do to it. After that, it just be you know just aesthetics and you know just stuff that that I might you know want to do just because I want to do something extra to it. But I don't see myself doing too much more anytime soon. So I think I'm all set for now. All right, all right. So I, I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, please uh, feel free to to browse the channel and. Uh, check out some other vids and also like subscribe and all that good stuff and i appreciate you guys for watching so stay tuned for the next video all right peace